Hi everyone, so today's video, um, I was very inspired by a new makeup release. Um, so if you don't know, uh, Natasha Denona is coming out with a new uh, eyeshadow palette, that's what they're called, um, called the Trio Chrome Palette. And I've talked to y'all a lot recently about how I really want to get into supporting indie brands and um, making sure that that's where my money's going instead of these larger brands. And also how I want to start buying um, single shadows instead of palettes and I like that because I like how um, easy it is to like move them around and make your own palettes Lauren May Beauty here on YouTube she does that a lot and I love her content um, so I'll link that below in case you're interested in seeing uh, I'll link her whole channel below so if you don't follow her I highly recommend her I think she's great but that's kind of I love the idea of being able to do that also with single shadows there's a lot less packaging than say like you know a giant like plastic palette like like we have here so I'm just really into that but I don't have those yet and I have been watching so many people Lauren being one of them show all of their single eyeshadows on YouTube and all of these like beautiful duo chromes and I've really really had the strong desire to get some duo chrome tri uh, combs multi chromes whatever into my collection and I've been really wanting them um, and I, I thought that that's what I was going to choose to spend my budget on. But before I do that, I wanted to go through my collection and see what I have. Because it's really easy to like just think about, well, it's new and I want something new. And I want, because I do think it would fill a nice like whole void in my collection. And the new Natasha Nono Trio Chrome palette was just like the last step that I was like, I need this. I didn't necessarily want that palette, but I was like, I need some duochrome from um, some indie brands. I was really thinking I was going to get some from Cleona or JD Glow or Shine by SD or maybe someone else. I don't know. But that's what I was wanting. But I was like, you know what? Let's take a step back. Don't spend all your budget, especially because, you know, we've got a honeymoon coming up and we're really trying honeymoon and buying Christmas presents. We're trying to, you know, work all of that out. So I was like, well, let's see what we have. Let's see what's in the collection already. Before we start, um, you know, buying more things and accumulating more stuff when I really don't need more stuff. And I was really surprised. I've got like a pretty large stack here of different um, duochromes and things like that. I think pretty much everything's a duochrome. There might be a couple of multi-chromes in here. And some of them are definitely like higher quality than others. But um, maybe you'll have some of these if you if you follow me you know I don't have a ton of brand new makeup I'm really trying to use what I have instead of accumulating more and more and more um, so you might already have some of these in your collection and if you don't have these exact things maybe it'll inspire you to go through your collection and see what you do have and play with that so let's just get into it I will start with a highlighter because I went through my highlighter collection as well because you know like flashing highlighters were a big thing I don't know just a couple of years ago and I do have this Becca highlighter which um it's the light chaser highlighter in rose quartz flashes seashell and you know I mean there are no rules with makeup well I mean that's not I guess that's not totally true like you probably shouldn't put things that could like actually hurt you but you see it's got a little bit of a flash this is definitely one of the most subtle of the flashy flashes I'm going to show you today there we go but it's got a little bit you know just a little bit and this was definitely like marketed as kind of like a duochrome thing before duochromes were as popular as they are now so there's that then I also have I'm pulling out like I don't know an oldie um from it was Kat Von D at the time now it's KVD vegan beauty the alchemist palette and I want to say this was limited edition and this is a bunch of white shades that flash a certain color. So we have green emerald, blue sapphire, ultraviolet amethyst, and pink opal. So y'all can even see on my fingers some of, especially like this one. I feel like you can really see well. And I do, I what I use these specific shades most often for. You can see they're extremely powdery. I use them a lot for um, inner corner highlights. I really like the way they just add a little bit of like intrigue to my look. So 
I like these a lot, but again, duochromes that I already had. And a lot of these specific ones are really great to top other shadows with. Um, so if you have like a yellow and you wanna put a little bit of green duochrome, this might be the best way to do it. And just a way that you can, if you already have that, without having to accumulate more things, looking into that, just a thought. So then I've got four liquid shadows. So let's go into those and then we'll get into the powder eye shadows. That seems to make sense. Um, so this one is my most recent acquisition. It is the Natasha Nadona Chromium, I feel like I said that weird, Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Ultraviolet. So she came out with these and now she's got that Trio Chrome palette. And I really like this one. I like it a lot. I wear it a lot. I find it beautiful. It's not quite as flashy as it is in the tube, but it's still really great. And I do, um, I, I just like it. When I wear it, I feel very pretty. And then I've got these three that are much older from Stila. And this was like the Sea Siren collection, I think it was. But they're also like duochrome. So first we've got the shade Sea Siren. And these are getting really kind of dried out. I might plus like just use it up because I use them a lot. I'm definitely one of those people that like, this one is, is actually, I think, gone. That's pretty sad. Can y'all see that? I think, I think we've used this one up. If you look down in there, you can see on the sides, we've gotten some use out of it. That one might need to go into an empties bag. All right, then we have the shade Into the Blue, which is like a blue purple, yeah. This one I haven't worn as much just because it's, it is so dark. And you can see it's got that same gray base, but blue to purple. There, can y'all see? I feel like on camera, it's the purple's not sh like showing up very well. But I can definitely see it in person, let me just tell you. I'm bummed about this. I think I'm gonna have to just go put that in an empties bag because just not in there and then this one is the most subtle of these three but this is sunset cove again i use them i use them a lot i really like them here we are and you can see it just got like a really pretty flash to it so those are my four liquid shadows that i feel like fill that duochrome um hole in my collection and you know and then we've got a bunch of eyeshadows and I will go ahead and forewarn you a lot of these eyeshadows the flashes are very similar but it's what I have so again yeah, you know just seeing what I have and then if and when I do decide because I do think I will decide maybe probably I hate when people say that maybe probably that's redundant I would guess it's gonna be after our honeymoon so maybe in like January or so when I do decide to decide I just can't speak today. When I do decide to add some um, of the multi-crumbs to my collection, I'll know which ones really I don't have. So first I have this Illamasqua quad. I know, so fancy. And it's called the Fatal Palette. And I'm pretty sure this shade is Mystify. And it's a purple with a blue flash. The Huda Beauty Sunset how is that what it's called sunset desert sunset something like that palette has a blue to purple flash and every time I see it I want it and so this was also really helpful to remind me that I actually have quite a few it's right here this this Natasha Dona one is just like staying on it's a subtle flash but it's definitely there then I have um, a matte quad that I made myself so I have these two, which are a little bit duochrome -y. They're the shades Tilt and Stars and Rocket. So. Again, a lot more subtle of a flash than some of the other ones I'll be showing you later. But you can see how similar these two are with the purple with the blue flash. I feel like the Mac might have a little bit more of a flash, but yes, there we go. I feel like that Natasha Denona really needs to come off my hand and it's just not. 
we're just gonna we're just gonna deal with it it'll be fine we don't, it's not a big deal and then I have one of my newer palettes this is the violet boss pro palette pro hashtag palette and I didn't think there was any duochromes in here but I do feel like this shade relevant do y'all see that I think it, it might have a little bit of a flash just a little bit yeah I'm not pretty I am embarrassingly really not used this palette that much See, it's hard because I, I don't think it's just shimmery. I do think it changes a bit. Like, it goes from, like, a pink to a red. So, it's a very subtle flash. But I do think it's there. Um, along that same vein, we have this Tarte Magic Star palette. I've said this, like, a million times on my channel. But, like, I swear I'm the only person in the world that bought this palette. But I did. And I really enjoy it. You can see it's definitely got some use out of it. But this shade, um, what's it called? Indulgence. It's like a purple with a gold flash, so it's actually pretty unique in my collection, I feel like. It's a very soft shade, very typical of Tarte. I feel like a lot of their shades, like, it's not about, it's pigmented, but it's just like a very soft shade. So you can really see that gold flash, I feel like. It's very pretty. I, I like that one on the lid a lot. And then, um, oh, we'll just, we'll just keep grabbing. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean Lorac palette. I love this palette so much. Anything Disney, you know, gets me to the core. And this shade, Black Pearl, is a duochrome. It's one of those, like, blue-brown pigment ones. And I haven't shown y'all any of them, but we're getting there. I promise you, we've got a bunch. It's a very common duochrome to see in the palettes. I feel like this one is like a more subtle version of it, but it's there. Um, I did, I'll just go ahead and tell you, I did have Urban Decay Lounge, but because, and then you'll see, I'll, well, we're going to get in them. I've got so many of those versions of that shade, um, this being one of them, that like blue-brown duochrome. I decided to give it to my friend who's, like I said, I've said a couple of times, is really getting into makeup now. Um, and she didn't have a shade like that. And I was like, I've got like six of them in palettes. Like, just go ahead and take it. So, then we have the Tarte Tartus Pro palette. Mine's a little beat up. But we have this shade, Trendy. Very much the same. Very, very much the same. Uh, I would say it is more pigmented. Yeah, you can see that <clears throat> that green shows through a lot more than the Lorac version. So since we're showing that, we'll also go into the Too Faced Clover palette, a really cute little palette. And in here we have this shade, which is called Best Friends. And this is like a little bit icier, just a little bit. So I do feel like honestly, these two are really different. This one, it looks almost identical to Lounge. And then I think this, yeah, this is my last one that's that like blue brown thing. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Artist 9 palette in this like version number two. These shadows are really pretty, but they do hit hard pan really easily. And we've got this shade, which is called ME302. Great shade name, really creative. There we go. And so this is a slightly darker version of it. But again, on the eyes, they all pull very similarly. So I decided I did not need lounge on top of the four versions I already had. So let me, my hand is starting to get a little bit stained it's all right we're fine okay so then I've got a couple more of those blue to purple shifts and this is the urban decay urban spectrum palette and it's got a lot of really beautiful shiny shades in here but I feel like this omen shade is the only like duochrome and again it's that beautiful blue to purple Yeah, 
yeah, you can really see how the blue comes out through that. I love that shade. And then we have the shade that I'm actually wearing on my eyes today. This blue to purple shift that we have going on. That is the shade from the Juvia's Place pa uh, Magic Palette called Faso. This is what I have on my, um, not all. This is from the Anastasia Riviera palette, but most of it is from this palette. So we'll go into Faso. I'll just tell y'all. So this one you can tell is actually a little bit icier and wider than the um, Urban Decay version, but they are pretty similar. After having this palette and like I'm starting to play with it more, it's in my project 10 uses. I want every Juvia's Place palette. They're so good. But after the honeymoon, really want to go on a honeymoon. So then I've got two more that I feel like are pretty unique in my collection. I have the Too Faced Gingerbread palette, which is also in my project 10 uses. And we have this shade Hot Toddy. which is a stunning duochrome. This duochrome is like how I want all of mine to be. Do y'all see that? It is so beautiful. It's like a copper to a pink. I abs, that's my favorite shade on this palette. I'll go ahead and show you. I don't really feel like it's a duochrome so much as just like, I don't know, but we have this shade Frostbite Me, which looks really white in the pan. but it's got some gold in it, like a good amount of gold. So it's, I don't know if it's really a duochrome, but it's there just, you know, for your knowledge, if you have that palette and you're looking for something like that, like a white that flashes gold. And the last one is from the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette, because again, if Disney makeup comes out, I just feel like I need it. And it's this shade Lily, which I'll go ahead and tell you, you can tell I've used Hatter a lot, and Hatter is very powdery, so there is some green in Lily, and I tried to get it all out, but it's just there. So ignore any green, but this does have like a beautiful pink pearl in it. Yeah like a white with a pink pearl let me get you a little bit more so you can see it I really like the shade I use it a lot so you know for someone who wants to buy a bunch of duochrome eyeshadows duochrome multi-chrome whatever I really do feel like I have a lot but like I said I have a lot of repeats or some that have the same flash but it's good to know what I have so I don't end up buying the same things over and over again because that defeats the purpose to me. Um, but yeah, so um, also we found out that this is just completely empty, which is a bummer, but I did get a lot of use out of it. So, you know, we'll talk about it in a empties video coming up. So those are all of my duochrome. I don't really feel like I have any multi-chromes. I know this shadow claims to be, but... I feel like I pretty much just have a bunch of duochromes in here, but they're really pretty and I do really enjoy them and I feel like they're becoming more and more popular. So before you go out and buy a bunch of stuff, maybe just look in your collection and see what you have. Maybe you have some of these, maybe you have something completely different. That's great too. Um, but yeah, that's what I have. Uh, so it helps me to know not to go out and just buy a bunch of things because uh, that's definitely my tendency. But I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down below. I love talking to y'all. It's one of my favorite parts about doing YouTube. And yeah, I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.